Welcome on board one of the newest and most unique cruise ships in the world. It's Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady. We're going to take you on a full ship tour and walkthrough of this gorgeous ship. From the outdoor areas to restaurants, clubs, bars and entertainment venues, it's going to be a wild ride. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Let's get started with the outdoor areas starting at the very top of the ship. Just off the running track there's a secret little sunbathing area, it's a really good hideaway. There is a running track and walking track, it's called the runway. It wraps all around the top of the ship and it's super awesome. It's nice because you get an awesome view. I can see myself walking around here, said nobody ever. At the very back of the ship is a lovely sunbathing area with a bar. But there's the absolutely terrifying net that looks down very high from the top of the ship all the way to the bottom. I'm not sure if I'd like to sunbathe here, it's very, very scary indeed. On the outside you'll find loads of unique features like an outdoor gym and lots of swings and playthings. It makes you feel like a kid all over again. We love it. <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> There's lots of fun things to do on here. You won't think this is an adults only cruise line with all these uh, play park stuff. <laughs> We look utterly insane. We look ridiculous. The fact that Ben's holding the giant camera as well on the other side. <laughs> ah! Oh, what's this? This is called a ball. I got it. That's did, awesome. Did you actually just get that in there? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally good at, uh, what's that? Basketball, I'm totally Bas good at basketball. basketball. Oh, so close. Ah! Oh, Jesus, that just hit me in the balls. So sorry. Are, are, you, uh, are the boys okay? Oh. How's, the, how's the team? They're all good, they're still there. And out here on the open deck at the very back, you've got lots of comfortable seating areas with, the, with a bar, plus that terrifying uh, net that hangs off the back of the ship. And coming around the side, you've got a full-on outdoor gym. It's even got a boxing ring as well. Look. Uh, oh gosh, make sure you've got insurance to get in uh, that thing. Oh, how manly. God, I do feel very manly on this cruise. I think I'll come out with a six pack of beer. Should we carry on our tour of this deck? Let's carry on. Yeah, there's lots of outdoor gym equipment. I couldn't tell you what any of it is because I've never been to a game. So now we're coming up to the main pool area. As you can see, lots and lots of sunbathing spaces. There's actually quite a lot of sunbathing spaces all around the ship. And we were just saying how nice it is that they have different areas. And these are just your classic sun lounges. Down there, you've got a gigantic whirlpool in the middle and two whirlpools on the side as well, plus some more outdoor game equipment. And there's also a bar up here, so if you want to grab a drink or if you uh, want to come admire this colourful I don't know what that artwork. is. I think it's ice supposed cream? to be an ice cream. One thousand! Oh. Yeah, whatever. Oh. That's my daily pull-ups done. Yeah, quick shortcut to downstairs just there next to the gigantic ice creams. And then there's also these cool seating areas which are kind of like little sofas looking out to sea. And uh, you can just grab one of them and watch the world go by. That's really nice that they're really looking outwards to the ocean. Now this is the main pool area and it has again lots and lots of seating here. There's some sun lounges, there is some beds next to the pool. That pool is kind of a splash pool, it's not something you're going to be doing lengths in. 
It is definitely so much where you can just cool off. It is boarding dear. I'm expecting up here to get very, very party-like, aren't you, Ben? I am, yes. yes. It's got a nice buzz about it, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. This is the mermaiden, so everyone's super excited. So I never noticed if they had this on Scarlet Lady, but all these walls light up. It's so cool. We didn't notice this last time. This is so cool. And there's heaters. I found heat from somewhere. It may look sunny, but it's not. We've just came from Florida, and this is a shock to the system. <laughs> just what you always wanted, a loo with a giant view. It's bloody insane in here. I don't know if I dare go for a wee on here. I really don't. Look at this huge view. I'm sure it is mirrored in some way so that all of Belgium can't see you in your full glory. But anyway, how cool is this? It's blooming insane. There's loads of places for your Instagram shots and loads of places to relax and chill out, as well as seating areas and a quick service Sun Club Cafe serving bowls of food, including chicken and salmon. Next up we have Richard's Rooftop. Now this is very posh and I can't believe they let us sneak in here. You need one of these cards to get in and this is the exclusive sunbathing area. It's got lots and lots of comfy big deer beds, a lovely jacuzzi over here as well, plus some funky trampolines. And it also has a huge bar area for you to come and enjoy a little private escape. Yeah, so this area is for suite only guests. And like I said, you need the little golden card or black card to uh, enter. Let's take a look at the galley. This is the main food place on board. It's kind of similar to a buffet, but it's not quite the same. It's all individual stations, so they have individual items ready for you, and they cook a lot of it fresh there in front of you. They also do table service as well. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it has a huge selection of different food items available. It's open right into the small hours of the morning. Yes, we're not ashamed to say we've been here at 4 a.m. eating a full English breakfast, and it's really good. Yeah, you've got stuff like bento boxes, tacos, Mexican, all day breakfast, lots of sweet treats, salad bars, a coffee shop, loads of stuff to eat here. Then there's also drink stations with the included drinks, so the included Coca-Cola, Fanta, Sprite, Coke Zero, teas, coffees, all your usual stuff. Now, lots of people always ask us, is this a buffet? Well, yes and no. It's not really a buffet because everything is made to order. So unlike a buffet where it's all been sat out and waiting for hours, here all of the main dishes are freshly to order. Plus the food is really fantastic quality, so much better than we've seen on other ships. It's a really large space as well with plenty of seating areas and even a coffee shop. The coffee here at this particular point is an extra charge. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the online platform that helps you create your online website in a beautiful and easy way. We have built our whole website using Squarespace and we absolutely love the way that it looks. Highlights for us include the powerful blogging tools. We can quickly post and categorize content and gain powerful insights with the analytic tools and we can seamlessly integrate our social media channels. I can't tell you enough how much of a difference this has made to us. It's made our lives so much easier. We used to dread making simple changes and adding more content. Now it just takes us seconds. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Welcome to the Gummy! 
<laughs> we just love all of the crew on Virgin Voyages. Gunbei is the Korean barbecue on board, where food is cooked in the middle of your table and plenty of entertainment is provided by the amazing crew on board. It's such a laugh. Just watch out for those soju drinks. We got very tipsy one night. Anyway, talking about food, we better get rid of some of it. Let's head to the gym. Oh, well, very good morning. This is called exercise, because if it is, it's not that hard, is it? Look at all of these state-of-the-art machines as well. They've got one room with all of the treadmills and cardio stuff, and one room with all of the weights and all of the other fancy stuff. Never been in here before. It's like a casino, but with bikes. The scene is a small venue which is used for drinks for sweet areas when it's not very warm outside, and it's sort of a multi-purpose venue. Right, let's head down using one of these very fancy elevators slash lifts. They're very cool. We haven't seen anything like it before. There's lots of lovely artwork all around the ship. And one of our favorite things is the groupie karaoke bar. For no extra charge, you can hire out one of these rooms and sing till your heart's content or raw. But do keep it down because everybody can hear. We had so much fun in one of these booths. I've still got a sore throat now. The Red Room is the multi-purpose theatre style entertainment venue. Now it's really versatile in here, showing lots of different shows as well as parties and a nightclub as well. It changes shape and form depending on what's going on in there. It's a really cool space and the entertainment, super unique, but we really like it. So we've came down to deck seven, just behind the red room, and now we're in SIP, which is the champagne bar. This is one of our favorite spots on board the ship. I love the decor in here, and Ben loves champagne, so it is a match made in heaven. It's a really popular bar. During the day, they also do teas and coffees, and in the late mornings, they do pastries as well. So if you want a light bite and a cup of coffee, come down here, because it is a really lovely space during the day, not just the night as well. Yeah, usually it's set up a little bit more with the bar full on display with lots of champagne everywhere. Yeah, there is bottles champagne. of champagne everywhere. It's Ben's champagne dream in here. So now we're coming up to the heart of the ship. It's called the Roundabout, and this is where most things are. Lots of entertainment here. There's the bars here and all the shops here as well. The roundabout is really the heart of the ship as it's right in the middle of the ship. There's loads of plush, comfy seating areas, as well as a record shop selling records, and you can often find a live DJ here warming up everybody for what's gonna come in the evening. You'll also find another bar up here as well. Just surrounding the roundabout is Lick Me Till I Scream. It's the onboard ice cream shop. It's all complimentary and it's really, really yummy. At the Get Lost desk, you can book your next cruise. Plus, just next to this, there's a lovely little seating area with plush comfy sofas, chairs, as well as a full bed at the back where you can just chill out and relax, especially if you've got a hangover. And just next door is the coffee shop on board. This is an extra charge, but all of the lovely little bites of food are all complimentary. There's so much food on offer on the ship, we can't talk about it enough. Moving towards the back of the ship on deck seven, we have the social club, diner and bar. There's things like games on offer here, as well as food with some treats, things like hot dogs and wings. And just next door, you have the Loose Cannon, which is a local dive style bar slash pub. As well as the arcade with complimentary video games and vintage vibes. Let's move on, everybody. Continue this tour. 
And at the back of the ship you have the Dock House, which is a casual Mediterranean style lounge and bar with lots of comfy seating and more beds as well to chill out. Here you can get little plates of Meze style food. It's really fantastic. The food really is lovely. And again, it's all complimentary. You'll also find a bar here as well. At the very back of the ship is The Wake. This is the steakhouse restaurant on board. It's really beautiful in here. We really love the ambience and the food is to die for. It's delicious. We highly recommend you come here for brunch as well. The Eggs Benedict, mwah, beautiful. Come on, let's take a look outside at the dock house. Ooh, that's, it's the, that's the sound of tropical weather. No, it's not, it's freezing, but this is a gorgeous space. Out here, there's loads of lounging chairs, there's tables, there's sun loungers, you can grab food. They come round with like small bites and plates and things, all complimentary as well. And imagine, obviously we're docked today, but imagine this in the Caribbean, in the Mediterranean, out at sea. It's beautiful. It's, it's a, a gorgeous space. We've been on it in warmer weather in August in the UK and yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, really nice space. It's just a cool place to come out and chill and grab a light bite to eat. The little meze plates to do are delicious. What a view. Oh my God, can you see how high that net is? Oh, let's take a lie down. All of these comfy beds and Balinese beds are completely complimentary. You don't have to pay any extra for them like you do on lots of other cruise lines where areas like this would be sweet only areas. It's one thing we get told about all the time was there's no comfy seating areas. Guys, there are so many sofas around the ship. Beautiful plump sofas, beautiful quality sunbeds and sun lounges. There's loads back here. Honestly, this place is made for the Caribbean and the Mediterranean and it will be gorgeous out here. You can get lovely meze and Mediterranean plates served out here as well. It's just the most spectacular spot. It's gorgeous and just imagine yourself at sea with all of the weight going. Honestly, we've done it before when it's been a little bit nicer weather and it is the most gorgeous spot. Anyway, there's some other areas around the side that we're gonna show you before we go down to deck number six, so let's go. Next up in our tour, let's take a look at the pizza place. It smells amazing. And it just doesn't smell amazing, it tastes amazing as well. The pizzas from the pizza place are all freshly made to order and they're really delicious. They're cooked in a proper pizza oven and this links to the outdoor area that we showed you outside, but it was a little bit chilly on our cruise to use. So welcome to Extra Virgin. This is the Italian style restaurant on board. We ate here a few years ago on Scarlet Lady and oh my gosh, it was absolutely blooming delicious. And we're gonna be back here tonight. So make sure you watch our next episode when we'll be actually dining here. It's such a lovely place, such a big menu. And of course, everything's included again. Now for something a little bit different, we have the test kitchen. As its name says, you're gonna get some really unusual plates of food here. It's a set menu. You can choose from either a vegan menu or the normal full menu. And the food here really is fantastic. We don't wanna spoil it by showing you anything. You've got to experience it for yourself. It's a really cool gastro dining experience where you can see the food being handcrafted right in front of you. There's even an open galley. It's awesome. There's plenty of shopping on board Valiant Lady as well. Lots of merch to buy, all of your standard things like watches and clothing, jewellery, perfumes, all of that jazz. It's quite a large area on the ship. Now on the lower deck, deck six of the roundabout, there's plenty of seating areas and things to do. You'll find more shops. 
You'll always find unusual things on Valiant Lady, like random mermaids walking about. There's a cool bar with plenty of seating area. On an evening, this comes to life with a full band, which is really fantastic. There's lots of live entertainment about. You'll also find the barbers on board, as well as the hairdressers. And something unique to Virgin Voyages is Squid Ink. Now this is the on-board tattoo parlor. Yes, you can get an actual tattoo on board. David got one. Watch our upcoming vlogs for more. They did such a good job. We were really happy. Oh, so let's head from the bottom deck of the roundabout up to the top deck of the roundabout up the fancy staircase. We've just been here as well, but we'll just show you what these yeah. lovely stairs are like. Getting some extra steps in, Ben. It's so bright, it's so elegant, it's so virgin. Thank you, thank you. Not you, the ship. Oh. You muppet. David, uh, we need to finish filming deck six, so you need to come back down, please. Nice and elegant. There we go. So this is what it looks like coming down the stairs. I don't know if to do a double step or a single step. They're like really wide, aren't it's they? It's an awkward step. Either I gallop down, like, or I stride. Well, you can be who you want to be on this cruise ship, so do whatever you want. <laughs> Ta-da! How to do steps with David. Right, let's continue the tour. Uh, David, other way, please. Jeez, you can't take him anywhere. And of course, no ship is complete without a casino, and you'll find a full casino on deck six, just before the entrance of the manor. This is cool. Welcome to the manor. Now this place is insane. Just look at this entrance. It's an Instagrammer's paradise. Oh my gosh, guys, the amount of times we've had a few drinks in here and then bumped into the walls, it's nuts. This is freaking spectacular. What an entrance, and the manor is so much fun. There's a dance class going on right now. Innuendo bingo, it's freaking hilarious. And it's a nightclub on a night with a bar, loads of comfy seating areas and more. Let's move on. Moving down to deck five, you'll find sailor services. This is basically the guest relations desk. So if you have any problems, come here. Now this restaurant is pretty damn spectacular. Just look at this entrance. It is freaking amazing. Another great spot to grab your pictures as well. Beautiful, but come on in guys. Welcome to Mexico, because this is Pink Agave, which is the onboard Mexican restaurant serving delicious food. Honestly, we highly recommend you eat here. As we say all of the time, the food on Virgin Voyages is spec freaking tacular. And welcome to one of the most unique venues at sea. It's Razzle Dazzle, open for dinner and brunch, serving wacky, crazy food, vegetarian mostly, but there are meaty treats as well. We do recommend this for brunch as well. It's a great experience. And last but not least, we have the Red Bar, which is inside of Razzle Dazzle, a lovely place for cocktail making and cocktail classes, as well as some lovely drinks and offer. And of course, everything is completely red. Well, that's it for The Valiant Lady. We hope you enjoyed watching. Please do make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. It really helps us out to create more content for you. And if you'd like to support us that little bit extra, because we do like to self-fund as many trips as we can, please do consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description section below. And in return, we give you things like postcards, your name in the credits, early access to our videos, as well as ad-free videos. We thank you so much for your support. That's it till next time. Happy cruising! Happy cruising.